I regularly talk about rockets that have exploded. I sometimes talk about submarines that have imploded. But did you know that there was a case of a rocket which imploded? Back in May of 1963 at Vandenberg Space Force Base, an Atlas Agena D was sitting on the pad for testing. And due to a problem with ground service equipment, they lost pressurization on the oxygen tank. The Atlas made itself as light as possible by pressure stabilizing the main tanks, which meant it got its structural rigidity from the gas pressure inside. Without that, the rocket just collapsed. The stage sitting on top was dummy hardware for testing. The oxygen tank was essentially empty, but the fuel tank, that still had thousands of gallons of kerosene which spilled all over the pad. But the engineers in the blockhouse activated the fire suppression system and it didn't catch fire. The damage to the pad was light and eventually this Atlas design would launch a high resolution spy satellite. The Atlas still flies today as the Atlas V, but that modernized version has proper structural rigidity. But the ultra lightweight Centaur upper stage is still made of pressure stabilized stainless steel. There were other examples of Atlas boosters which collapsed during testing, but more interestingly, for museums that want to put atlases on display, they have to make sure that they maintain pressure inside or they have to go in and add a rigid internal structure to support them. 